Queen's Indian Defense, Petrosian Variation, 4, BB75.NC3D56.CXD5NXD57.E3B7. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. Black found some nice moves in the middle game. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The move e6 creates a line for the dark squared bishop, sets up a rapid castle, and prepares to push a pawn to d5 and recover the piece if it is taken. Nf3 develops toward the center, putting pressure on the e5 square and adding another defender to the d4 pawn. The light squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto by the queen's Indian defense on b7, where it will affect the long diagonal. A3 is an unusual move to play so early in a game, but here it serves the purpose of keeping black's dark squared bishop off of the b4 square. Fianchetto move bb7 places the bishop on the long diagonal. The d5 and e4 squares are under the control of nc3, which advances the knight into the center. The pawn on c4 is attacked by d5, which also occupies the center and holds the e4 square. Cx d5 captures the d5 pawn and attacks the e6 pawn. Nx d5 recaptures the pawn and attacks the knight on c3. e3 protects the d4 pawn and allows the light squared bishop to develop. b7 develops the bishop toward the center and allows black to castle. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This kicks the checking bishop away with a pawn. The bishop is now in a secure position. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. Backs off. Game's master. It is the final book action. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. That's good. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is quite good. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is excellent. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. That's good. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. That's good. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. A better technique to recapture a piece is missed by this. It is incorrect. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. That's good. This prevents the adversary from winning a pawn. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Recaptures. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen while also checking the king. It is good. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. This poses a checkmate threat. That's good. This prevents an assault on a pawn that may have been taken. It is ideal. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is ideal. This poses a checkmate threat. It is ideal. This deters an assault on a pawn that is weak. That's good. This secures a pawn. It is quite good. This avoids the queen's check. It is ideal. That pawn's capture grants you material. It is ideal. Thus, a pawn is lost. It is incorrect. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This poses a fork piece threat. It is incorrect. This is the only good move. This was a game-changing move, 
white is no longer in a losing position. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is a great move. This is the only move that works. This prevents the opponent from being able to take an outpost with a bishop. It is a great move. The game was almost evenly matched, but white is now worse. It is incorrect. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. Initially, black had the upper hand, but now the score is nearly equal. It is incorrect. There was only one good move in that position. This misses an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is a miss. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is quite good. There was only one good move there. This overlooks an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. This allows the opponent to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a mistake. A passed pawn is pushed by this. It is ideal. This misses a chance to improve a bishop's square and broaden its range. It is incorrect. Black still holds the upper hand, but they are no longer in a position to win. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to improve a bishop's square and broaden its range. It is incorrect. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. By elevating it to the seventh rank, this poses a threat of activating a rook. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. This stops the opponent from being able to activate a rook by getting it to the seventh rank. It is a great move. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is ideal. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. It is quite good. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is quite good. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. When the queen retreats, this attack wins a tempo. It is ideal. The queen is therefore moved to safety. That's good. This gains time by putting a queen in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is ideal. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is ideal. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. This raises the possibility of an eventual checkmate. It is quite good. This is winning stuff. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This misses a great but hard to find move. This threatens to promote a pawn to a queen. It is a miss. This is the only good move. This took advantage of a bad move and white is no longer in a losing position. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is a great move. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. That was a great move and very hard to find. This is the only move that works. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is brilliant. That bishop was free. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This moves away from the queen of checking. It is ideal. This creates a threat to win a pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. Black found some nice moves in the middle game. 